Okay, in the last video, I told you about my first lease option house. So this time I wanna tell you about my first owner financing house because creative financing is really cool. You can do wholesaling, lease options, owner financing, wrap, subject tos. You can do all sorts of things and it's lumped under creative financing and that's what I specialized in. But the first deal that I had with owner financing was super duper cool because I was sending out yellow letters, which I can tell you about in First Sold and Fast. I was sending out yellow letters and I sent it to this man and he didn't call me back for like a year. But when he called back, it was awesome. It was perfect timing because he had this house that he bought for his daughter while she was in school at Carson Newman in Jefferson City. And she stayed at that house while she was at Carson Newman and her daddy was a real estate investor. He bought condos in Myrtle Beach. And so by the time she graduated, then they rented it to some of her friends and they rented it to other locals in Jefferson City. It's all cool, except he was tired of having this one random house in Jefferson City when the rest of his portfolio was in Myrtle Beach. And I mean, I can't blame him. I'd rather go to Myrtle Beach to see my portfolio than Jefferson City, but you know, whatever. So when he called, he said, hey, I'm ready to sell you my house. My tenant's moving out. And I said, okay, awesome. Who are you? <laughs> but I met him up at his house and this was in 2015. And we're standing in the kitchen and I'm making three offers, which is what I teach you how to do in first sold and fast, make three offers in every property. And this was the first time he said, you know what? When I got started as a real estate investor, one of my sellers ended up financing me one of my deals. Would you want me to finance this property to you to, you know, help you get started? And then, you know, my daughter's not interested in real estate, but I can see that you are and you're kind of her age. I could help you. And I would finance this property to you because I own it free and clear. Would that be something you're interested in? And I thought, am I dreaming? Is he offering me owner financing? Because people told me it's hard to get. But this dude is just giving it to me. Yes, yes, I'll take that. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> so we worked out a deal and he was going to finance this house to me for like 10 years. I had a low payment. Everything was going to be amazing. He wasn't charging me any interest because he didn't want any interest because he knew he'd have to pay taxes on that. He wanted his full purchase price. And he wanted to be part of my story. I'm in. Let's do this. Sounds great. So I got the house owner financing for 10 years. And I think my payment was like $600 a month. I put it out on the market for a lease option because I buy as many as I can on owner financing. And then I sell on a lease option. That's very important. But I cover that in great detail in First Sealed and Fast. So just for the sake of the story, I sold it on a lease option. And I gave the guy that moved in. Uh, two years before he had to pay me off. All right. Remember I had 10 years. So that works out. I can do this five times in that amount of time before I have to cash out my seller. And the guy that moved in gave me $8,000 right up front. And my purchase price was like 111 on this house. And he was buying it from me for 125. So I created a cushion there about $14,000 and he gave me $8,000 to move in. He was paying me almost $900 a month. So I had about $300 a month in passive income. I was winning all over this deal and I loved it. And it was the first time I could see and I could prove it to myself that I could get these deals with owner financing and that I could stay in the middle of these deals and create passive income every single month. And that's very important because a lot of times when you get started, you're thinking, is this going to work? Is anybody going to do this? Am I smart enough for this? And I'm here to tell you that yes, people are going to do this. And yes, you are smart enough. And this is going to be amazing for you, your kids, your whole family. It's going to change your life changed mine. Well, the sad part is the guy that I had given the lease option for two years, he actually got a mortgage and bought the house from me. <laughs> and I say it's sad because I lost $300 a month in passive income, but he got a mortgage and cashed me out. So I ended up making uh, I think $22,000 on that deal because he gave me $8,000 to move in. He gave me monthly money for 15 months. It took him just a little over a year to get his credit fixed or establish his job history or whatever it was. And then because he had some pay down on that 125, I ended up walking away with a check for like $9,000, I think. So $8,000 up front, $9,000 as a back end payday, and then monthly money. I made, what is that, 70? I made like right at 20, $22,000 on a $125,000 house that I only had. $10 invested in. 
Now I come from regular real estate. Okay. I'm a real estate broker. I've listed houses and made $1,200 after 18 months worth of work. So for a real estate agent to make over $20,000 passive income, money up front, money in the back end, y'all, poof, it changed my world. And you can do this too. And you don't need a license to be able to do these deals. These deals work all over the country in every market. And I have ladies in First Field and Fast that are getting these deals done every week all over the place with just $10 invested. You can do these deals too. That was my first owner finance deal. And that was my first actual back end closing. That was the first guy that actually got a mortgage and closed his lease option with me. I got another story coming up on how I was able to get my first multifamily deal done also with pretty much no money. That's in the next video.